Do you have a device that constantly eats your batteries? Batteries are the thing of the past, so today, in the future, I will show you how to make your own battery pack which could be charged using a USB cable. Now the device that I will be modifying is some old VHS camera that I found and I'm going to try to modify it, make a battery pack for it and get some old school VHS quality which will look really cool. But actually any device which works in a range of 3.3 volts to 12 volts will actually work. Um, you can find the information about the voltage on the back of the device which you're gonna modify. Alright, let's go! Now, in order to use line batteries, we first have to get line batteries and we can get them from different old devices like laptops. But the important thing is that those are supposed to be line batteries, which means rechargeable and they should have the same capacity. Now, this is important because uh, when you charge the batteries, they have to be equal. If they're unequal, it will damage the entire uh, battery pack which we build. So, get the same batteries which were used in the same device or you can buy them online or something. I got my batteries from my old RC car project video which was pretty cool but once the battery controller got damaged or something and the battery pack could, did not work so I disconnected those batteries from that battery pack and we're gonna work with those. But the batteries themselves still function which is good because we are gonna use them. Okay so the plan is to use this really good battery charging module it discharges and charges the battery safely but the thing is it's only meant for one uh, line battery and one line battery gives around four volts and my camera needs around eight volts this is why we need two batteries and this is where this clever schematic comes in when you charge the batteries it charges them in parallel and then with a simple flick of the button when you want to use the device you, it's going to connect them in series outputting 8 volts which is exactly what we need um, here's the schematics and this is why exactly the batteries need to have the uh, same capacity because this flick of the button tricks would not work if they had different capacities when we charge them they would be unsafe and unbalanced and then it might blow up or something that's exactly why you want them to be the same capacity okay so when i was building the device i needed to charge both batteries uh, safely in order to use them so this is where this epic wearable power supply comes in which i built in one of my previous videos it's really good because not only it can give out any voltage you need but it can also charge line batteries and then i had to solder both of the wires to the sides of the battery and i'll tell you that in reality it is dangerous to solder wires to the battery just like soldering you know you need to use a spot welder otherwise you're gonna overheat the battery and it might be damaged but i am russian in winter so i soldered it really carefully and it is working fine okay now i wired this thousand iq schematic to the breadboard for prototyping and seeing if it all will work i wired it up all and then i wired up a new multimeter which i got which is pretty cool uh, and it showed exactly 8 volts when it was in using mode and 3 volts when it was in charging mode and I could switch that all using a button which was really epic you know uh, that means that we can all put it all in the box <laughs> But then when I was putting it in the box, I realized that um, the camera would give a battery error because it realized that the battery I have created is not its own battery because not only there's a positive and negative terminal, there's two other data terminals, that's what I think there are. And 
uh, the camera sees there's no data flowing through it so it realized it's not my battery pack and it would refuse to work with this re battery pack and I was really frustrated I thought this is where uh, it will not work but then I somehow figured it out after uh, torturing the batter uh, the battery and the camera for like an hour I figured it out and uh, just by connecting somehow the two uh, data terminals on the camera it all worked and I was really happy with that so now I put it all in the box and I actually did not film this process because the box was tiny and it was just really messy and it was like I just could not put any the camera anywhere and then on the top of the case I put a sign saying how to use the battery with the that button press thing and it was all really good I'll, now I will show you the result this is how it looks I know it looks a bit weird because there's a, a, a huge battery pack next to the camera but I mean it all works and right now we're gonna test it and unfortunately I could not take any video because it turns out this camera can only record video on digital tape so I just took a bunch of pictures here you can see like a montage I'll probably make So in conclusion, you all know how to make your own battery packs for cheap, which will work really well. Now I want to note that when you make all those modifications, make sure you make it for a device which you can actually use, because I spent almost one and a half days working on this project, realizing I can't even I cannot even shoot video with it unless I buy digital tape. So maybe in the future, if this video blows up or something, I will get digital tape and then record some video or something like that. This is also, this is one of those only types of videos where I, I got the idea instantly and then I played around with it and I got it working without having to order any parts from AliExpress or anything like that and waiting uh, weeks or even months or even half a year uh, for the parts to arrive only to forget what am I even supposed to do with those parts, you know All right, that's it. Thanks for watching stay creative and stuff like that Make your own battery packs and I'll see you next time